Greetings. Welcome. This is Queen L from Queen L79. I'm so glad you're joining me this evening. This is the night of Saturday. It is April 11th, 2020. And I just wanted to um, hop in here really briefly to discuss one of our um, planetary transits that are taking place right now. So Mercury has moved into Aries um, as of about 12.30 a.m. in the wee hours of this morning. And it will be in Aries from today through April 26th. And then on April 27th, it will move into the sign of Taurus. So I did want to speak about um, what we can expect to occur and what there would be an emphasis in um, from an astrological perspective for the next two weeks. So um, stay tuned if you're interested in hearing more about that. Now, um, I do have my planner with notes. So if you see me looking off to the side, that's what I'm looking at. And um, I just want to touch on what this um, means, this planet moving into a sign of Aries. And so um, all of the planets, as you know, um, just like Earth, they all have an orbit and they're um, in the 360 degree orbit. There are 12 houses from an astrological perspective and each house has a um, house ruler. And also the number 12 represents the 12 zodiac signs as well. So um, that's what that means when you hear someone mention a planet's transit or one of the planets moving into a specific zodiac sign. So we'll touch on that. And then I also have my modern witch tarot deck and I wanted to um, tap into any type of message that our spirit guides have for us with regard to this transit that's taking place. Okay. Now, um, I'm sure um, you, just like um, most others, have noticed or felt the, um, the weight and the strength of that supermoon in Libra that took place earlier this week. Um, there were some, um, some positive impacts on people as well as a negative impact on others. So um, just know that even if you felt a negative impact in certain areas of your life, that there's always something to learn from it. So um, always take the bad with the good. It's, you know, and bad and good, that's, it's all relative. It's all in your perspective. But take any type of um, uneasiness or any type of um, feelings that don't sit real, um, right with you, um, always take that as a learning experience and use it as a tool, as a stepping stone, something to um, learn from, okay? Now, with regard to Mercury entering Aries, so Mercury, um, it represents how you relate to others, um, how you interact with others, okay? And then Aries. We know that Aries being a fire sign, it represents um, passion, our ambition. Um, it also represents traits of directness, and um, it can represent an impatience or a low tolerance for um, people who are focusing on um, on minute details or um, taking their time. There also may be some moodiness in there with regard to Aries. So you really want to um, just watch out for that. That's just something to, to think about because that may occur. You may see it crop up over the next couple of weeks. Now, with regard to those houses that I mentioned, um, how there are 12 houses with um, regard to our astrological charts, each house represents an aspect of you, an aspect of yourself. Um, there's a house representing um, self, which is the first house. There's a house representing um, your health and well being, um, your communication. There's a house representing um, how you are. Um, how you interact with others, how you are perceived to others. The 12th house represents your um, secrets or hidden emotions. Um, there's all sorts of things that are broken down in these 12 houses. It gets really, really 
in depth. And um, I would love to do a, um, a video in the near future with regard to that breakdown of those astrological houses, okay? So specific to Mercury and Aries. So Mercury rules the third house, and that is the house of communication. So that means that with Mercury, um, Mercury's always transitioning through one of the zodiac signs, but because it's the ruler of the house of communication, now that it has transited um, transited through um, into Aries, and it will be in Aries for the next, um, let's see, from the 11th through the 26th, so the next 16 days, if we're counting today as well. Um, that means that your communication, um, the focal point will be um, your ambitions, your passions, and the key is to make sure that when you're communicating with others, that you don't, it's okay to be direct, it's okay to be passionate, but you must make sure that you're um, communicating effectively, that you're not um, running over or bulldozing others in the way that you communicate, because that wouldn't be effective. You won't get your um, point across by um, being overly aggressive. You won't, um, you won't be an effective communicator or um, your words will not be um, received in the manner that you would like them to. Um, if you are um, have an air of arrogance or are um, speaking to others in a condescending tone, um, there's just an, an aura of moodiness that will take place over the next couple of weeks. So um, be sensitive to that because um, when it pops up, I notice even within myself, when you notice it, you have free will. You have the ability to put that um, that aspect of yourself into check and not to um, allow it to just take over or run rampant because that won't be good for yourself or anyone who you come in contact with, okay? Now, Aries dominates that first house. So remember I said the first house is about yourself. It's how you um, your personality is and um, it's how how others see you. OK, it's how you present yourself to others. So with Aries ruling that house, it's important that the way that you um, are perceived by others, the way you present yourself to others, that you want it to be um, you want to be well represented. You know, you want that impression that you give off to be um, a, a lasting one. But in a positive way, I'm sure you don't want anyone to have a negative, you know, feeling or vibe about you after you've interacted with them. So just be really careful about that, because that's something that will um, it will definitely pop up over the next couple of weeks. You'll have plenty of opportunities to communicate with people. I know that we are in um, we have been in a virtual world, a virtual society for some time now with the most recent um, couple of generations. However, um, of course, things are almost completely virtual right now due to recent events. And so it's important that when you are communicating with others that um, you just be really cognizant of the way that you get your words out, the way you express yourself, the way you get your point across. And um, it's not necessarily the words that you say, but it's how you say it. So just keep that in mind. Be really careful about that, okay? Now, um, like I said, so Aries is passionate, confident, direct, and those are all great qualities. Um, again, it's just the way that you use those qualities, okay? Now, um, there is that um, aggression and some impulsiveness when it comes to Aries. So um, again, it's all about the way you communicate with others, the way that you express yourself. So, I mean, that's what I keep feeling in my spirit is just to focus on that. OK, so with that being said, we're going to get started. I've already shuffled my deck. So um, what I'd like to focus on is um, a card just to help reiterate what we need to focus on during this transit that Mercury is making um, through the sign of Aries. So what do the spirit guides want us to focus on during this time, okay? Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords, it's an emotional card. However, Swords represents your intellect. Now the Four of Swords, it means that, um, you know, there's some thoughts going through your mind that have been keeping you up at night, that have been kind of disturbing your headspace. And so something I always say is 
meditate, meditate, meditate. You want to stay connected to self. You want to keep those chakras aligned and keep them open and um, continue to commune with the spirit guides, with the ancestral realm. So just know that um, as this card is representing um, some type of turmoil that you're going through right now, um, and it's rightfully so, depending on the circumstances, it's important to know that there is um, there is a new dawn that's taking place and not in a bad way. Um, there is sunshine on the horizon and um, things won't be so gloomy and doomy as they have been. Um, you will start to see the sunlight. You'll see the light at the end of the tunnel with regard to your situation right now. And just know that, um, like I said, if you focus on your communication, focus on the way that you interact with others, um, that will help to see you out of that situation, okay? Now, um, here's a card to represent um, specifically how we can um, work on the situation that we're in and how we can see ourselves out of it. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles, like I've said before, they represent our um, work. They represent um, can represent finances. They represent power. And the Ace, this represents, like I just said, a new era, a new dawn. Now, this is a new age that we're entering right now in our lives, and we're here to see it. There haven't been many pivotal turns with regard to Mother Nature, with regard to um, the world. Um, in many decades. And so we're here right now. We're seeing it right now firsthand. Just know that with regard to your situation and the way that you're feeling from an emotional perspective, there is a new dawn that's right on the horizon. And because it's the Ace of Pentacles versus any of the other suits of the tarot deck, it's specific to the work that you do, the way that you're being of service to others. And um, keep that in mind. So there's a turning point there. You either have, um, based off of the communication to tie it into that Mercury and Aries, based off of the way that you've um, communicated either with yourself, with your spirit guides, with others um, virtually, um, there will be a new work venture taking place. And that's going to take you out of that um, that season of turmoil that you've been dealing with and battling some things in your mind. The Ace of Pentacles represents a new chapter in your life with regard to your work. And that card speaks to me as well. And um, it's just something to be excited about. So I really hope that that speaks to you and it motivates you, okay? Now, the last card it will represent, actually, I'll do two more. This card represents... Um, some type of obstacle that might hold you back from embarking on that new journey and um, reaching the potential of the last card. Okay, the chariot. So the chariot represents, um, <coughs> excuse me, let me sip some of my tea. Okay, the chariot so I've told you all before in this modern witch tarot deck that these ladies, for the most part, are quite badass and I love them. So this card represents um, just another image of a woman that is full of fire, full of energy. The yellow behind her, it represents um, that warmth and that um, new era that I mentioned, new life. There's life coming to be with regard to um, your circumstances. There's a breath of fresh air. And the chariot is all about um, kind of like taking charge and full steam ahead. Um, if you see the images in the front, um, they represent um, taking flight, but they represent royalty. They represent leadership. So she's leading the pack. Okay. So that's something to um, definitely to keep in mind and to take pride in that, take confidence in that. There's some confidence here. I would say that she represents Aries, in my opinion. If I were to look at, there are a few cards in the deck that I could say would represent Aries, but this is one of them. And this is one of the major arcana cards. If you've 
um, seen my video or not, I'll link it. I have a video on the breakdown of the tarot deck with the major versus minor arcana and the chariot. That's one of the major arcana cards. And so um, this represents um, along that fool's journey that I explained in my other video. Um, this one is, it has the Roman numeral seven. So you're still in the early part of that journey. You are making your way because it starts at zero and ends at 21. Um, but you're making strides and it's important as you go along that, that pathway, um, of, of that evolution of your life. It's important to, again, um, practice some discernment and discern it within yourself of making sure that you are operating in the way that you're truly being led to operate in your intuition. Use that third eye, okay? Tap into that. Don't just lead by your heart. Don't just lead by your mind. But you want that. You want everything to be aligned and in sync when you um, make, take your steps and make your moves, okay? So trust your intuition, just know that the spirit guides, they will lead you on the path that you're supposed to be on, okay? Now, um, with regard to, I would say since this card, um, I inquired about any type of obstacle, I would say again to practice some discernment and use discretion. So it's okay to move full steam ahead, but you still need to be cautious and conscientious um, that doesn't mean to act with apprehension. You should still have confidence in what you do and with the moves that you make as long as you're trusting your intuition. Just know that um, there's something that I've always explained, um, the way I've explained it to my children even, is there are positive and negative. Again, those two words are relative depending on, it's all about your perspective, but there are positive and negative consequences for every action that you make. And it's important to know that um, even if you do what you feel or someone else feels is a misstep, um, there is something to be learned there. There's an opportunity for growth. And so it's important that you don't look at it as a failure, like, oh, I can't believe I just did that. You can feel like that in the moment, but it's important to take away from it. Okay, what can I learn from this? The, um, you know, what did I do? You have to be honest with yourself. Um, what was my role that I played in this situation? And now what are my expectations for myself? You have to hold yourself accountable. Um, there's um, a word, one of the principles of Kwanzaa is Kuji Chagalia. And um, that really resonates with me. It's about um, being accountable for yourself. It's about self-responsibility. And so make sure that, you know, you always um, look at self um, look at, you know, your own reflection of your own um, actions with regard to every situation that you encounter and to know that there is a lesson to be learned there. If you feel like you're going through the same situation over and over again, there's a lesson to be learned there that um, you may be learning something, but you want to make sure that you're taking away from that situation exactly what you need to, what you're supposed to, so that you can move forward and grow from it, okay? So with regard to the chariot, I would say, yes, it's okay to um, just know that you're being given the green light to move ahead with that new business venture. However, it's all about um, the way that you do it. It's all about the way you do it. I did um, a daily card pull today on um, my Instagram and Facebook pages. And um, both of those are Queen L79, but Instagram is Queen underscore L underscore 79. But um, the one thing that I said with regard to moving full steam ahead is sweet is the way. You can be firm, you can be direct, but um, just practice a bit of sensitivity and compassion along with that directness that you have, because um, you'll just be more effective that way, okay? Now, um, the final card will be um, representative of um, what the outlook will be over these next couple of weeks with us keeping these points in mind, okay? The outcome. All right, the outcome is Nine of Cups. This is somebody that's taking charge. She is the master of this, um, of what she represents. Now cups, they represent your emotions. So the nine of cups, you're still on that path. Um, you know, we have with the minor arcana, we start with um, ace, 
then which is the new you know um new chapter with regard to that suit and then we go from one to ten and then we have the court cards that go from um page on through king so this um nine of cups um, she is someone that exudes confidence and pride um, and a sense of accomplishment. So this is saying that if you take heed to what the spirit guides are telling us today, that um, you can master your emotions. So if we look back, you know, you're starting out with this four of swords and, you know, you're experiencing all of this turmoil. And then we have the um, ace of pentacles. So there's hope there. There's um, a new day there and um, a new venture, which is always really exciting, especially as we're moving through Aries. And so there's that ambition there and there, that passion. So um, use that to your advantage. Don't sit on those thoughts and those emotions. Um, Use that ambition, tap into it, tap into that creativity, like I say, and um, just see where it takes you, okay? But definitely practice discretion and make sure that while you're, you know, letting your ambitions and your passion lead the way, make sure that you're um, just staying completely aligned with all aspects of yourself and that you're not um, just kind of um, going full steam ahead blindly, but you are practicing some discretion in the manner in which you move, okay? And then finally, just knowing again that um, you're a conqueror. You're mastering your emotions. You're mastering the situation that you dealt with, the turmoil that you dealt with. You're um, going to see yourself even better for it on the other side. And that's something that always gives me hope and um, is something to look forward to. So um, that is it for today. I'm looking at my time. I always, I don't know. I mean, I, I say what spirit leads me to say, and it always ends up being <laughs> at least about 20 minutes or so. It feels like I've only been talking for a few minutes, so go figure. So um, like I said, feel free to um, check out my daily card readings on Instagram and Facebook. Also feel free to like my Facebook page and um, I also link videos. Um, I would love for you to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel just so you don't miss any um, future messages like this one. I have videos on the lunar cycle, um, the planetary transits like this Mercury going into Aries and also um, just some tarot readings as well. If you have any requests for guidance directly from me or um, any requests for readings or a personalized astrological chart, feel free to reach out to me um, and send me a personal message so that um, we can link up with regard to that. So um, Ashe, many blessings to you. I just want to say peace and just know that there is joy on the horizon for you, okay? Blessings. This is Queen L. Have a great night.